All right, another review. This isn't a uh, lens or a camera review. This is actually a service review. Where'd it go? I have right here a Pentax 300 millimeter DA star lens. It has SDM motor, focus motor in here, and it went out. Luckily, I bought this new, so it was still under warranty. Um, if you don't know Pentax, you have to send uh, your equipment under warranty to Precision Camera. Um, and if you look online, the reviews for Precision Camera are just absolutely horrible. So I was like uh, very weary about sending this in or whatever. So, um, uh, so I had to because it was under warranty. Uh, so I went ahead and sent it off. Um, I went online and just filled out everything online. They have their website. The website is outdated pretty much. It needs to be updated. But anyway, uh, I was able to submit a form and send it off. Um, if it's not under warranty, uh, it did show me a cost. Um, if it wasn't under warranty or if I didn't have the correct paperwork in there and stuff, it was like 300 bucks to fix this. So it's kind of pricey if you have one of these lenses. It was for this lens. It might be cheaper if you have like a 16 to 45 that the motor went out on. Um, so keep that in mind if you're going to send it in. You could get a quote on there if you uh, go on their site. Anyway, so I sent it off. Um, my only other uh, time using a repair service was a uh, Sigma. I sent, it, sent my Sigma lens back to Sigma. It was under warranty. That sucker got there. By the time I sent it out and got it back completely fixed, it was like 10 days. That's with me shipping it and them shipping it back. So ultra fast. They did a, a really good job. The only problem with them is uh, after yeah, like nine days or something, I, I just called them because I didn't have any status update or email. And uh, she said, oh, no, it shipped out yesterday or something. You should have it in a day or two. So that was cool. Uh, Sigma's repair service was very good in that aspect. So that's the only other um, repair service that I've used before. So anyway, so I sent this out. And on their website, uh, it, it will show that it's received and has this little will, and it will say sent to repair, and blah, 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 and it goes through, and then it uh, shipped back out to you. So um, so I, I shipped it out, and then I, I went on their site and saw that it, it, it did get received. And then um, it sat in the repair status for over a week. So I... It, and that's all it says is in, in repair, so I didn't know. So I tried to call them to, to see what exactly did they have to order parts or whatnot. Um, and I sat there on hold for like five or ten minutes, and then it just went went to their voicemail. So I just sent them an email instead. The email, um, it took them two or three days to respond. And if you're getting uh, emails from them, it doesn't say precision camera on the sender. It will say the actual customer service rep's name, so it kind of looks like junk mail, so uh, keep that in mind if you're having to deal with them um, going back and forth. Um, and she said, it was very vague, um, it, it's been sent to the factory, it should be uh, done in three to five weeks. I was like, the factory, Pentax factory, your factory? I, I wasn't quite sure, so I just let it go. I was like, okay, three to five weeks, so I'll wait it out. Um, then it got uh, a week later, I got another email from a different customer service rep, but they're just their name on there, and then I recognized in the subject line because it had the tag number of the lens. Um, and she said, it shipped out today. You should be receiving it, uh, UPS, and giving me the tracking number and everything. So that was pretty good. Um, so signature was required on it, and I missed it for a couple of days, so I had to go pick it up at the UPS store. Um, this is the bad part. When I went to get it from uh, UPS. I uh, picked up the box. I've got the box here. Let me just show you kind of what they did as far as this is concerned. Now, when you uh, when you're sending this out, it says it says you know only only leave the parts in that um, that affect what's wrong with the camera. So I took I took the filter or not the filter the uh, the hood off and just put caps on for more safe shipping and didn't put the original box or anything like that in that, that I've had. Um, anyway, so this is the box. If you see how big this is for that, for that, we well, saw that lens at the beginning, for that, for that um, 
that's a big box for that small lens. So what they did is put a couple of these in the bottom, wrapped it in this, and then put uh, just a little bit more of this on top. So when I picked it up and signed for it at UPS, it went like that and the lens was like rolling around in there. I was like, oh boy, I'm going to get this home and it's going to be broken. Uh, the lens wasn't broken, thank God, but the, uh, the cap on the front, as I took it off the front of the camera, it was broken. A piece of it, the plastic fell off and you could see where it had been, uh, you know, dinged or whatever. The actual camera wasn't really hurt, but there was a small, very small ding. I probably wouldn't have reckoned or noticed it if I didn't, the cap wasn't broken. Um, but it, it dinged here on the edge and it did kind of uh, bend the, um, the filter threads there. So I was pretty upset about that. But I, I went home and put a filter on there. I normally don't put filters on this the 300, but. I put a filter on there and it still fit on there fine, so I'm not going to uh, raise my blood pressure and, and go back to them on that. But um, yeah, so uh, overall, it took it took a month and one day to get it back, and um, it seems like they did a good, good job. I've taken it out and shot with it; it's done a really good job. It's working fine. I've taken I've taken uh, about a hundred hundred shots and hadn't had any problems with it, so. They did a good job as far as that's concerned. Um, took about a month for me to, like I said, from start to finish. Um, overall, I would give them probably a C minus. Um, it's better than I thought they would do, minus the, the cap being broken and such. Um, from reading those horrible reviews out there, but they could do better as far as uh, uh, could be a little bit faster in getting the repair done, and the, the shipping was just absolutely horrible on how they put it in the box so um, like I said if, you, if you've got a Pentax and you break it and it's under warranty it has to go there so uh, good luck with that um, hopefully you have a little bit better experience than I had but if you read the reviews there's people that had a, a lot worse experience than I did so uh, anyway thanks for watching I've got plenty of other reviews on Pentax uh, Canon and other stuff like that so thanks for watching subscribe